This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I save and load BPR filter and render presets? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example model file here loaded in. So this model was created using the Snapshot 3D functionality inside of Spotlight. So it was all generated out of simple alphas and then using Snapshot 3D, those alphas were turned in geometry. And then after the geometry was created, I just went through and did some quick poly painting here to give kind of this pencil-like effect. And then I set up some filters. So if I navigate to the render palette here and just dock this to the side and then go to the BPR filter area, I'll have a few filters that are applied to this model. And these filters, when I render with BPR, will kick in and I'll take my model here and then generate this effect. So now I've taken the model and I now I have it looking more hand-drawn or non-photorealistic. So the question is asking about after you have something set up like this, how can I save and load these filters so I can then use them in other projects? So if I navigate over here to the render palette, you can see there's a load and save at the top here. And then in the BPR filters as well, there is a load and save. So these options here will allow you to load and save either the entire render palette or just the BPR filters area. And then you can go and load either just the filters or load all the render settings in another scene. So if I just want to save the filter settings, which is everything in this filter palette here, I just need to come across the save option here and I can just click save and this will pop up a dialog. And in here I can now save just the BPR filters. So I'm going to save this as BPR filter, and that will now save it out. Now, if I want to save the entire render palette, I just need to come up here to the render area and click save. And then I can now save this out as the render presets. Now, when I clicked save, you might have noticed that the file type is the same. So when I clicked save in the render area here, and when I clicked save in the BPR filter area here, I was saving a ZRP file. And you'll see that both these files contain the same amount of information. So if you save from the render palette or if you save from the BPR filters area, it's going to save the same information. However, when you load the ZRP file through the filters or if you load the ZPR file through the render palette, it's going to load in different information. So as an example, if I cancel this and now go into Lightbox here, you'll see at the top of Lightbox, we have two options. We have render set and we have filters. Now the render set area has these ZRP files and then the filter set area has these ZRP files. And if I go back between these two, you'll see they're in the same folder inside of ZBrush here and they're the same file. However, they're in two different tabs. So if I come to the render set area and I double click on one of these ZRP files, or if I came up to the render tab here and clicked load, this would load the ZRP file and it would read all the information for the entire render palette. However, if I came over to the filters area and I clicked on that same file or came down to the BPR filters area and loaded that file through here, it would only load the information for the BPR filters tab. So the file format that is saved will save the exact same data, whether you save it here or here. However, if you load that file through the render palette up at the top here, it's gonna load all the render settings. So this is everything, even the BPR filter area. This is the shadow area. This is the render properties area. All that is going to be loaded in. If you load that same file through the BPR filter area, only the BPR filters are going to be loaded in. So this is handy if you want to keep your render settings and then only change the filter, or if you want to load the entire render palette with the filters themselves. So if I want to just see what a different filter will look like on this, but not change my render settings and come to the filters area inside of Spotlight here, or use the load option on the BPR filter, and then if I double click this, this is now going to only load that filter, and now I can see that affect my model. But then if I wanna see what that filter would look like with a specific set of render properties and go back in here and go to the render set area and now double click that same file or load that file through the render tab over here. 
and now it's going to bring in the filters and all the render settings and now I'm going to end up with a different result. So after this is processed here, this will look slightly different because it's using the full render settings that were loaded in instead of just loading in the BPR filters. So that is the quick rundown on how you can save a ZBrush render preset, either using the BPR filter save here or the render save here. And then after that preset has been saved, if you wanted to have it live inside a light box, you just need to copy it to your ZBrush render presets directory. And then that will appear both in the render set and filters tab here inside of Lightbox. And then if you want to only load the filter information from that file, you just need to go to the filters tab or from the BPR filter area, just click load. And that will only load in the BPR filter information. Then if you want to load instead the entire render information, you can come up here and load that same file again. And that will now load everything, including the BPR filters and all the other settings in the render properties, the shadow area, the AO area, etc. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!